We're, uh, we're a work in progress. We've got a long ways to go, but um, certainly have uh, showed some improvement. And, um, you know, that's uh, what we can ask for is just keep uh, trying to climb towards a standard um, and uh, get better every day. How will uh, uh, Vernon and Garrett be able to complement each other? Well, uh, I think they'll certainly be able to complement each other and complement everybody that's out there. You know, they're, they're um, you know, uh, have established them, themselves um, in this league as, as somebody um, that's uh, tough to block. So I think certainly um, they're going to be two individuals that uh, we're going to count on to contribute towards our success. There's a lot of conversation about Gerald McCoy. If he would sign with another team, how would you assess the backup tackle situation? Well, we're just, you know, focused on the individuals that are here um, competing every day. And... Um, you know, all, all we can do, I think uh, our goals is on an everyday basis improve, and that's what we're striving towards. So, you know, as far as assessing, you know, somebody that's um, not here, uh, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on doing so. But I mean, the guys who are here, do you have enough yes. here to, to uh, uh, get through a year and be competitive at that position? Yeah, I believe, you know, Again, we have uh, in all positions, we, we have uh, a long ways to go to get where we need to be. Um, but uh, uh, there's no doubt in my mind as far as um, and, and the faith in, um, you know, what's in our room and the, the um, bond and uh, the contributions that have been established thus far. You know, there's no doubt as far as the, the capability in our room. Um, we just need to, um, you know, be attention to detail. Um, and really focus on improving as individuals, and then collectively we can uh, get to the, uh, the standard that we want to compete at. All the attention with your group seems to be obviously focused on Miles and Sheldon, Olivier, but um, what's your take on Larry Ogunjobi and, and where he's at, and what do you think his ceiling, I guess, is? Yeah, well, I, that might be your attention or others' attention. It's certainly not my attention. Um, we're, we're devoting, um, you know, every single individual in there is, is uh, uh, very important to us that's in that room and important to myself and Coach Perella and everybody involved here, Coach Wilkes. Um, so, you know, we're going to approach every day um, the same where everybody's going to have the equal preparation and, um, you know, go off of the day before of how we can improve. So I think a guy like... Um, you know, Larry O, um, especially as of lately, um, seeing some, some definite um, strides of improvement for him. Um, I think he's adapting to, um, you know, from the techniques um, as well as the scheme. And as uh, every one of these individuals gets more and more comfortable, um, you know, within their body of the scheme, um, I think we're going to see those, those strides of improvement. That's what we're trying to accomplish every day out here. Tosh, with all the success that you've had, on the college level, what even opens your mind to the idea of, of coming to the NFL? It's, it's always been a dream of mine to be at this level. Um, and, um, you know, it had some, some opportunities in the past come up um, that um, I didn't think were um, maybe the right timing and, and as well as ideal as this to be, to be able to come coach um, for and with Freddie and be an unbelievable organization um, where this place um, – the, the potential of this place um, and, and really the opportunity. So I thought uh, it felt absolutely right um, and uh, couldn't be more fortunate now for the challenge and the opportunity to uh, be a part of it. You were so successful as a recruiter mm -hmm. to not have that part of your job description. What, what's that like for you? You've been doing it so well for so long. Yeah, well, I, I've always, you know, from day one starting out in this profession, um, you know, I wanted to be a uh, want to be good at everything, you know, that's, that's asked of me. So, um, you know, recruiting is an aspect of the job. Also took a lot of pride in the coaching aspect as well. And, and um, um, you know, was really fortunate to coach a lot of successful individuals over the years at that level. So um, really, you know, to me, that's just kind of part of the past and really focused on a, a daily basis of improving here myself as well as the group. Um, you know, that time um, that's devoted at, at the collegiate level as far as recruiting, um, there is a lot of time and effort into it. So, um, 
you know, it, it's an amazing opportunity now to be at this level and be able to, to vote that time that's typically into that to be able to put it into um, all ball, you know, and to really devote to um, whether that can possibly turn on to some, you know, one-on-one -on -one time, you know, meetings or um, it's just some details where we can challenge, you know, what are the weaknesses of every single call and, um, and then be able to attack that, make the group aware of it. Those little things that sometimes may get bypassed, the, the, the true details of the game, um, where unfortunately might get bypassed at times because of the devotion towards the recruiting aspect at the collegiate level. Hey coach, um, Miles talked about being limited to only two moves last year. Is that something you've ever trained? And if so, what's the benefit of limiting the defensive line to two or three moves? Um, I, I wouldn't be able to understand or uh, um, answer what the benefit of is it may, um, rather than, you know, we're, we're going to not really focus on last year at all. Um, you know, um, there's uh, positives we can build off of. There's things that we can improve. But again, that's, you know, we're moving forward here. So as far as, you know, Miles has showed um, um, incredible capability and um, uh, we certainly want to use um, a number of tools where we can affect the passer um, that I th fully uh, think he's capable of doing so. And uh, that's where we're going to focus on striding. So again, not really focusing on anything from the past, but just building off of the skill set that each individual in our room um, you know, can utilize to really be um, a menace to the quarterback. Steve, other than being uh, both the Alabama no, no, I, I had actually never spoken to Freddie or, or had, um, you know, I think there's a, a natural bond from the Alabama ties there. And, um, you know, just I had I was fortunate to have five great years there and um, obviously his past there. So but no, I, I did not have a past relationship there. How do you help Miles take the next step? When Steve Wilkes got here and he kept talking about wanting Miles to take the next step. What do you, what do you think that looks like? Well, I think, uh, you know, I want to challenge Miles every day, and I think the, the natural competitor that he is, he's challenging himself as well. And so instead of approaching, you know, uh, every day as thinking about whether it's past accomplishments or accolades, it's more of how can we improve right now in this moment? You know, what are we doing in this meeting to prepare? How are we approaching this walkthrough? Um, all the different looks we're going to get within this call, um, you know, what are the things my mindset needs to be focused on? So I think it's, it's a, you know, he does a great job of responding to competition, um, and uh, I want to continue to just push him every day and, and have him realize, you know, whether it might be beating an offensive tackle out here or, shoot, doing something on air, for example. You know, no matter what it is, we want to get the most – not out of who you're going against, but the most out of you. And uh, I think he's um, answered that, done a hell of a job this whole off season, been here, present, active, um, you know, working on his art. I know you haven't worked with him for very long, but is Miles kind of cut from a different cloth, <laughs> especially with the, you know, sometimes defense? Are you, are you accusing him of being non-human because no, of his ability? I, or No, like oh. a renaissance man, the, you know, he's, he's right. almost more human. I mean, you know what I mean? He's kind of... A, letting himself be, you know. Yeah, I, I, I think, um, you know, it's, it's always pleasant to be, um, you know, working with somebody that wants to do better, you know. So that's, uh, I think he's got the drive, and um, it's about, you know, constantly attempting to get that out of him. And, um, you know, he's, he's in a position where whether he likes it or not, you know, all eyes are going to be on him both whether it's competitors, it's media, or even our own team, our, our own family in our room, you know. So that's where I think, you know, he's got to understand that and have the constant challenge that, um, you know, he at times can control the pace um, and the attack we have on everything we do each day. So his uh, outside edge quickness is obvious. Is there any advantage or any uh, advantage in moving him inside? I mean, the shortest distance quarterback is I think um, you know there's the there's the possibility and advantage of um, we can put miles on various different places out in the field so 
You're going to see Stan, uh, Miles standing up at times. You're going to see his hand in the ground. Um, he could play inside. He could play outside. He could play opposite of a tight end. He could play on a tight end. Um, where we feel like we could get an advantage is where we're going to um, tailor our personnel. And um, that's Miles. And then there's others that, uh, on the defensive line as, as well as um, the defense that could uh, hopefully give us that advantage. So, you know, I think Coach Wilkes has done an awesome job as far as formatting this defense, the personnel. And um, that's what we want to do is, is attack in a, in a lot of different ways and give offenses a lot of different looks. So you can't just locate a certain jersey number or locate a certain look, possibly slide your protection there or run opposite of it. So in his case, is he kind of like a, a queen on a chessboard? You can move him anywhere? Um, I wouldn't call him a queen. Well, in, in the game of chess, that's the most powerful. Um, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't call him a queen. So. Uh, hey, so when you guys were, when you got here, uh, Vernon and Richardson weren't here, so obviously that had been exciting. Um, when you look at Richardson, what is it that he does really well that fits in this scheme that, that made you want to go after him, and what kind of impact do you think he'll have? Well, I think um, it's obvious just based off of his tape, his talent and capability. Um, when, um, when we were evaluating the free agents, um, Sheldon stood out. You know, there, there was a group of, of talented individuals, and um, he was some, someone that we wanted. You know, this is not somebody that maybe we went after a couple other individuals. You know, he was the individual that we felt like could help us, um, and uh, I couldn't be more uh, fired up and happy that he's a part of this group. Um, thus far, he's really been taking control as a veteran and as a leader. He's showed great leadership qualities. Um, the group is feeding off of him, um, and, and he's using a lot of his um, veteran uh, leadership, um, you know, where our group is feeding off of, um, and, and uh, you know, just like we're expecting today, to go out there and get better, and that's his mindset. In terms of his skill set, what were the things in that, that that made him the guy that you guys wanted? Well, he, I think he has an um, ability to be a, a successful defender versus the run, as well as the capability of rushing the passer. And sometimes when you're looking through and evaluating individuals, you, you sometimes find one or the other. And uh, he has the versatility of his game where he can beat a guard. Um, he's proven to beat tackles in the past. We can do things, move him around, but he does have that versatility of his game. Coach Wilson said last week, even though last one. in past half of the league, that still running, stopping the run is essential. Sheldon's been on teams that have been top five in run stopping mm -hmm. in his career. Has he been able to bring that to the younger players and explain to them what what those teams were able to do to stop the run or be able to bring that experience? Yeah, I think he's you know operating within our scheme. Um, he's uh, done a lot of things in the past that we're going to ask him to do. Um, you know, with our position, it's a it's a very challenging thing I think to assess how successful we can be versus the run when we're running around here with our underwear and helmets on. So, you know, when we get to training camp, we'll be able to further assess, you know, of our techniques we're using, um, we're drilling, and, and um, you know, how that success can play, um, you know, when we really get into a, to the physical demands of the game when we have pads on. Thank you.